What is up, y'all? It's Chase Reeves. We're back with another video. Today, we're talking about hybrid travel bags. What's the deal? All right, check out this little number. This is from Katmandu. Check this out from Tortuga. The Belroy Transit. Some people call them minimal travel bags. I call them hybrid travel bags because it does two things. We use them for traveling, for minimal travel, normally a little bit lighter loads sometimes, but sometimes not at all because the bag expands and you get just as much room as you'd get in a big maximum carry-on size travel bag. But these bags do this other thing where you don't have to bring a another bag with you. You can use these bags as your daily carry once you get to your destination. When I'm traveling, sometimes I like to have a sling, but for the most part, I like to I like to have a little backpack. I need to be able to throw my kids, you know, sweater or water bottle in there, something, hold something for my wife, something for lunch that we're gonna eat later on, or some snacks. And with slings like these, sometimes it's not enough. By the way, this is the Bellroy sling, which I really love. This is the Camelback Pivot, which is made from recycled materials. Thanks, Camelback. But these aren't all the bags for minimal travel, for hybrid travel. In fact, I keep a list of my favorite the ones that you absolutely have to know about at matterful.co. I can update that list. I can't update this video. So in the future, if you're watching this, that's the place to go. I'll put a link to it right in the YouTube description at the top. And if you like this video, make sure you, you know, subscribe and hang out. All right, let's get into it. All right, check out this little number. This is from Katmandu. It's made from 22 recycled plastic water bottles, apparently. So Katmandu actually make, let me show you, one of my favorite travel bags, especially for a budget item. This is the light haul. It's got a great harness system. Same over here. Really good straps and harness, especially ladies, people with different size, smaller frames. This is one that I'm recommending to lots and lots of my friends regularly because it's not very expensive. Now this one is an and it actually does a good job. I've got a whole review on this I'll link to in the YouTube description, but this one you can't really use at 38 liters as a daily carry. I mean, you could get away with it, kind of. It's just that it's it's really big, it's moofy, right? You got that whole big floppy doppy thing going on. Not my favorite. Easily mitigated by throwing, you know, something like this in your bag. This is the Air Go Packable Backpack, Air Go. I actually love this thing. I'll link to this below. So. There's two modes of travel, actually three, actually four. One is a huge travel bag with a little daily carry bag inside. That's one of my favorite modes of, of travel. Second is hybrid travel, which we're gonna talk about more in this video. Then there's duffel bag travel, which I consider differently because duffel's like over the shoulder, holding by the hand. Backpacks hands-free, baby. I just like that, but some people love the, du the duffel. And then there's obviously roller bag. Now, what I love about a lot of hybrid travel is that you can potentially fit your bag right under the seat in front of you on the airplane. Now, if you've never traveled like this, it might sound crazy. All right, I got it from Rick Steves. He's my, he's my dealer. And once I started traveling like this, I realized, oh my God, you can be the last person on the plane. You have everything you need with you. You just have to pack minimally enough to get your stuff under the seat in front of you. But the big thing is this, you don't, need any overhead compartment space. So Katmandu 28, that one's a 38 liter, this one's 28 liters. Same great harness system, all right? There's hip straps here that I just, I, you can pull out. I just hide them away most of the time because at 28 liters, it's not that big. Got a luggage pass-through back here if you're throwing this on a luggage thing. Right here on this side, water bottle pocket. Not my favorite. 750 milliliter camel, camelback chute. This can fit in there, but it's not, it's not, very pleasant to get it in and out. You've got a little bit of elastic back here. I love when a water bottle is easy to get in, easy to get out, but doesn't fall out. Those are the kinds of things that you notice once you've committed to a bag and you're actually traveling where you're in that space where you might be hangry, you you like some travel plans might have gotten thwarted, a, a plane might have gotten delayed, right? And that's when you're like noticing what your bag's really made out of. Not at all a deal breaker for me on this bag. I do love external water bottles. Some of you may not, some of you, I don't know. I love it. Then on this side, you have a little, interesting little zipper, side zip pocket that just gets you, so this is like stash. To me, this is where I, I put my, this is where I, I have like a couple granola bars and a meat stick right there. Why? Because protein and nutrition, fat, right? Not eating 
not eating sugary, not eating processy foods as much as possible because what you feed yourself feeds yourself. Nice little back pocket here that is zippered for uh, a little uh, surprise. It's a little secret. Keep it secret, keep it safe. And it's big. You can fit a lot back in there. So your passport, done. Safe. Now we've got a zipper on the back here which goes all the way around but it does that thing where you have to pull these straps back. This is your laptop compartment. Solid laptop compartment, fits up to I think a 15 inch incher. Here's my MacBook Pro, yeah it says 15 inch right there. So you can just throw this in. Well first of all, just putting it in the inside like this, you can fit a big, so for you 17 inches. Then there's a little sleeve back here. It has a stop right there. Laptop is solid, padded all the way around, but not suspended up off the bottom of the bag. This is one place that Katmandu could just improve that because we have so much space here, we could just have a little piece of fabric that keeps it up about an inch off the bottom of the, of the frame sheet. Like these handles, handle at the top, handle at the side, they, they do just a little bit more than they need to and it feels good. And then you've got this little like, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna strap, you gonna bungee on a thing? You gotta bungee a thing. Okay, so that's all the external access on this thing except for this top pocket, which actually has like a little bit of, of like a little bit of hardness to it. And then it has a like, Lots of little organization in this guy and it's got a hard case. So to me, this is like perfect size for a pair of headphones with some extras. Little Velcro in here, you can strap it in. Because of the Velcro, you can leave this thing open and you've got it all right there. Fascinating, I think they, they like went above and beyond on designing this thing. Little zippered compartments, you can hide stuff away, like multiple little organizers and stuff. So. Kind of a sick little deal. And this is their answer to when you get to the airplane, the like the airplane seat, you pull that out and you have everything you need, your headphones or whatever. Maybe you just you just have your phone and you're gonna be listening to podcasts or whatever. I typically grab my iPad and oftentimes my computer. So this will fit under the seat in front of you on a lot of airplanes. And you've got that pocket right there at the front so you can get to it. You've got your, the bummer is you've gotta get you gotta pull these aside to get into your laptop. There's still a rain pouch down here I haven't even showed you, have I? There's a whole like rain pouch that flips out of the bottom. It's nice that that's built in, honestly, because, you know, Southeast Asia. So then you have the main compartment, which has a, an interesting opening. It's just like this, you see that? Now you've got this huge like whale shark mouth. I've got my packing cube already. This is my peak design packing cube. This is when I travel minimally and maximally, this is basically all the clothes I bring. It's like you just get one and you have it for the rest of your life because it's really light. You've got two sides, it expands and collapse. You can have a clean side and a dirty side if you'd like. I typically don't use that. I just like the size precisely because it fits into damn near every bag I've ever used relatively perfectly. I've got a section on my website all about packing cubes I'll link to at this time code. All the links in the description on YouTube will be at certain time codes, okay? How you doing? You doing all right? This is still the first bag. Okay, so here's where we have that 28 liters of space. Lots of it. And that is plenty for me to get this guy, throw that in, and then a little bit of accoutrement on top. What I tend to do, is use pouches. Here's the brown buffalo porter pen cap pouch. And I've got snacks, I've got a little bit of like, like one to one CBD THC oil, some cash, some uh, chocolate, throwing this, like a pair of headphones on there or that goes up in here. Now, when you're in daily carry mode and you don't have really anything in there, you just wanna like have some space to put the baguettes or whatever in there, here's what we look like. Not too big, it's a little bit big, but when you're doing adventure travel, this is sick. You don't have to pack another bag away inside your bag. And sometimes those packing, those little packing bags can be too small, too thin, not protective enough for your laptop. By the way, adding this one to my packable bags page, uh, this is from Tortuga and it has like water sealed zips. It's got a little, slight little bit of padding, a little bit of rigid, like a little bit of protection on the back. Um, Crinkly, super crinkly, but really water resistant and super protective in, in, in a very thin, lightweight shell for your laptop. When I say super protective, I don't mean, it's not gonna survive any bumps and scrapes. It just, it just it's so like, you always gotta, you know, when you're carrying a laptop inside of a little thin bag like this, you gotta be careful. But the reason why I bring that out is because packable bags are sick, sometimes not the best to be with, because when you have a bigger thing like this, 
you can fit your whole rig, your daily carry. This doesn't expand, it doesn't collapse, it doesn't do anything fancy like some of the others I'm about to show you. But you've got a decent daily carry when you get there. Now the one thing I think you might wanna just think about is if this is gonna be annoying to you, the way that it opens up like this, this floppy doppy, I actually kinda like it because now you throw whatever you want down in here for daily carry mode. I oftentimes have pouches vertically in there so I can just grab them right at the top if they'll stay that way. Here's the Bellroy Tech Pouch. I'll link to, uh, I'll link to that because that's sick. That can fit right in there, right? So these two could easily fit with my packing cube. And then when I get to where I'm going, I pull my packing cube out and it's time to parte. Starting to get a little warm. We're warming up here. I think we're about to start getting into a lot of bags. So I like this Transfer 28. It's pretty slick for 130 bucks. It's actually kind of lighter weight than a lot of the big burly stuff. So if you want to get adventure not pack too, too, too much, but have enough for you to, to like just be where you are. Living out of a bag is so sick. This can get you there under the seat on the airline and a lot of airlines. And so like, I don't know, this is a fascinating option to go with. Let's see what's next. My one criticism is as a daily carry bag, it's still pretty floppy. You've got this weight up top. If you're not filling it up, it can look kind of funky, but for all the things that it does, it's still just like, you, you, you get that kind of connection to the product that it's like, you're grateful for what it does, which is important. Sometimes that's your only friend when you're traveling, you know? Okay, check this out from Tortuga. This is the set out divide. Optional hip straps, these are a little cumbersome for me. So I normally take these things off. They just Velcro off here. Really robust back panel area. Got a luggage pass through. These straps can be uh, unclipped down here and like put away. So you're just carrying it by the handle. Now what the Catman do does at the top of the bag, this does at the front top of the bag. So this whole front panel is organization for all your stuff. Same thing with the laptop on the back of the bag, but this one I don't have to move the straps aside to get to. Nice 15 inch laptop. You could you could probably fit a 17 inch. Laptop is pulled off the bottom of the bag and a nice rigid frame sheet in there. Thanks Tortuga, that's some serious protection. More expensive at 180 than the Catman do. You're gonna feel like, so the thing about Tortuga stuff, you really feel this like burliness. You feel this stuff. See how it has those little like holes in it? It's a really seriously thick, robust, like it's an intense foam in there. And you notice that when you put it on, you feel this like this, uh, and it's good. I, you, I like it personally because when I'm really loaded out for bear on the back here with my laptop tech stuff and my clothing for like minimal travel, even though it's a smaller bag, I think I'd probably do off, like I said, with, with these because because um, I just find that, that if I was doing the really big, the set out, like the big one, I would go with the hip straps personally. But for the smaller one, I think that I could survive it. So here's this bag in daily carry mode with not much in it. Everything feels solid on these Tortuga bags. Okay, so it's just a box. The looks of it is kind of funky, right? It's just a box. You're not gonna win any sort of like, no one's gonna be like, hey, who's that fashionable person? But if you're thinking about getting a, you know, a minimal travel bag, you're probably not trying to win any fashion awards. You might notice some rubbing on the neck here, some of you, especially you thicker neck folks. You're gonna have to find sort of your way into this, but I personally love these straps. And the back panel, it's like chunky and like, I like minimal bags a lot more, but this feels really good when you've got a ton of crap on your back. Now, compression straps all across this thing, which I don't think are actually that necessary. They're nice if you wanna clip on a jacket or a yoga mat or something like that. I honestly might be tempted to just snip them off because look, when, it's, when you don't have them on, it just, it, it doesn't like, it doesn't need to be pulled in very much. It's not that big, but watch this. As we open this up, this little zip, We've just expanded out more space. So travel mode, and then you compress it with the zipper down. So opens up big clamshell, so you can fit a bunch of stuff. And inside of here is where that expansion came from. You see that zipper right there? That's where that expansion was. So you've got a little zipper panel organizer. That's where, you know, if you want, I mean, I think my, my packing cube would go right down at the bottom down in here, I would probably, honestly, just zip that away 
and just do it like that. So I just got a bigger main compartment out of the deal. Tons more space in this thing after putting in that packing cube. I can fit so much more. I've got my dop kit, I've got more pouches, I got my laptop, I've got all my tech on the front. I do have to say that uh, these guys in air do a great job with these like front panel organizers. They end up being surprisingly useful. Uh, you got a little zippered pouch back in here to throw stuff that you need, but you don't want like in your way. And honestly, zipping that up compressed, I still have my packing cube in there. Like, like this is just, this is like, I don't even need to expand it. It's just nice if you absolutely need it to throw another packing cube in there or something. So very capable bag. I've done a full review on this. I will link to that in the description below. I like this Tortuga set out. Some of you might like it. Some of you might not like the boxiness or the burliness uh, of it in comparison to some of the others. Let's get into another bag. The Bellroy Transit. I just did a big old video on this, so I'll just mention it here. This thing doesn't do any expansion. It's just sick. Made from great stuff. Recycled water bottles in a lot of the materials that are used for uh, some of the different colors. Great burly, like, I love this thing. It does pick up some dirt and lint, you might notice over time, but it's but its durability is killer. Ultimately, you get to have all this Bellroy love, like all these feelings. There's no hip straps. There's no like, it's just this little, I think it's 28 liters. Large, large enough capacity, easily puts your packing cube right there. Put your dop kit and your tech thing right up top. Got some, uh, maybe you wanna put like a dress shirt up in here to keep it from uh, falling all over the place. Little pocket up here, big pocket out here, which is flat with one little organizer thing in there. Like I said in the previous videos, I uh, I use like a little pouch like this track folding pouch to put a lot of my daily carry stuff and then I just organize that in there so I have quick access on the go and I get to pull it out and see everything visually instead of reaching in and going like, hmm. Is that my lipstick? Little quick access on the top that's just a delight to use. And then these two, where are they? Hidden side pockets that you can use for uh, water bottles. Your water bottle just barely fits. You wanna go for a thinner, smaller water bottle, which kind of sucks during travel because in travel is when I want the most water, especially in some places where you don't know when you're gonna get the next potable water. But one's used for snacks or some sort of external access and the other one's used for your water bottle, which like I said, I can get this, I can just, just squeeze it in. So that means when I am, you know, going for water bottle, it's like, <laughs> You don't go that often. But there's my Camelback Shoot 750 mil right in there, shoved away, hidden. This thing just looks slick. Nothing to it. Really simple, love it. I would probably, some of you are gonna really want some, some hip straps. Some of you are gonna want some hip straps on carrying a bag that could be this heavy. I think a lot of you are gonna like this bag because it just looks so, just looks, it looks nice, it feels nice, everything about it like works kinda nice, but some of you are gonna probably should go for something with a little more comfort in carry because all you have are these two straps carrying all your stuff. By the way, did I show you the laptop compartment in here? This is one of the things that's so sick. It's great laptop compartment. And then up at the top, you've got this nice little tech organizer right there. Oh, thanks, Bellroy. So if you can't help yourself, it's more expensive, right? This comes in at like 239, whereas the 180, 130. But ultimately the kind of bag I think that you could just sell out to and roll with for a very long time. For your minimal travel needs, it does decent as a daily carry. When you get there, it's still a little bit big and bulky, doesn't do any of the of the compression stuff, but I don't feel like, you know, it's just, it, you don't you don't really need it. It's not too big. It doesn't look too bad. The way that the, the structure of it, anyways, watch my video on this one. Let's get on to the next one. Knack, I've mentioned these guys a lot recently. I've got a big video on them uh, expanding Bag, great for, look at the look. You see the look of it? It's kind of chill, it's kind of, it's kind of like I think this could be doable with a sport jacket. A lot of you business people who want to do smaller bags, minimal travel, I think you can get away with this, okay? I think you can. I'll link in the description below to my bag video on these guys because I think it's worth checking out. Even though I think that one, I, <laughs> I think that one I did when I was in Tahoe. Just to show you really quick, there's a zipper, a hidden zipper that goes all the way around that 
gets you expansion and you have this whole big like suitcase compartment on the back. Here's that suitcase compartment, just big, burly in there. This is version 2.0 of the bag. They updated it with feedback from uh, the first round. My straps are hidden away up here, but they come out and they click here. I've got a laptop compartment that fits in right here, which is just like, not really pulled off the bottom of the bag, but it feels protected enough for me. Lots of interesting external organization, including this pocket down here on the bottom. This is a great little pocket that you can put stuff in or not use at all. And then the, compart the inner capacity of the bag will just fill that space up. Quick access here, and then your main compartment of the like daily carry mode here. The suitcase stuff is behind that. So, great bag for using as your daily carry that then you can just zip one zipper around the bag and now all of a sudden it's big enough to travel with. Thanks, Knack. Link to that one below. Uh, you know, this feels pretty good. The materials feel good. Like, a lot of you are gonna be are gonna be totally satisfied with this for a handful of years. Like, it's like, this is gonna, a lot of you are gonna fall in love with this thing. I don't love, like, our logo. And I, I like that the logo's got smaller. Knack. Knack's sort of a weird, Name. It's like a knickknack. This isn't a knickknack to me. This is like a Mercedes. This is like a. This is something that uh, that does something so useful. All these bags, they do something so freaking useful for us, right? Because when you can get away, when you can actually hold on, when you can actually get away, when you can get out of your ruts, when you can get out of your daily habits, when you can get out of your out of your like uh, you know like all the things that make you just fall into line into your little well-worn path that you kind of can't help but like fall into in your daily life. When you go out to freaking Cambodia to try something funky cuz you saw you know you saw some travel show like let's go to Cambodia. When you go to Vancouver, when you go to when you go to Los Angeles or Boston or uh, you go to Nova Scotia Go to the plains of Canada. When you go to Iceland, when you go to wherever, London, when you go, what, like, whatever. You go to Mexico. I love going to Mexico because my US dollars just go a little, and I can speak a little bit of the Spanish. And honestly, Mexico, there's still a lot of wildness in Mexico. And when I travel, I like to get the wildness. Why? Because nature's just like the hardest thing to find these days. But it's where we all come from and it's where we're all gonna go. So <laughs> you better make yourself at home. These things aren't little like, you know, little knickknacks. I think you can really find a bag that you love, that you stick with for years. And that even if there's other bags out there that, you know, tickle your fancy or whatever, you're like, ah, I got one, I'm good. I don't need more. For a lot of you, responsible people, this bag can be that to you for sure, the neck bag. I'll link to my video on that below. And by the way, when you purchase these bags, if you use my links, sometimes I have an affiliate relationship with these products. That's how you support the channel. You don't have to donate, you don't have to become a patron or anything like that. You just, when you purchase stuff, purchase through my links or do become a patron and we can talk more. The invisible carry-on, this thing's sick. I think it's even more classy than the knack bag. Just a little more Museum of Modern Art, a little more London, a little more, uh, what's that? Oh, it's my Burberry jacket. Uh, I, don't need, I don't need to fit my jacket inside my bag because I'm constantly wearing it. I actually love this bag uh, to travel with. If you travel with this bag, it forces more minimalization than maybe a lot of you would want. Here's your whole compartment right here. There's no expandability. There's no nothing. Here's your, your compartment. You put your packing cube in, you put your pouches in, and you're good to go. It's made well. The zippers are smaller than I'd like, but they're not, that doesn't mean that they're not strong enough. They're totally strong enough. I just like big, grippy, chunky zips. Pocket down here for a little organization, and then your main tech organization right here with a great, Liner inside, tablet compartment, little zippered spot, couple pouches. Very utilitarian. Utilitarian meaning you can use it a lot of different ways, right? You can, some people are gonna use this for the something. Whereas bags that like, they make all the decisions for you, like, well, this is just for the sand disk, USB clip thing. It's like, oh, okay, I get it. I much more prefer bags that are designed by people who, uh, who, who are consciously thinking about the wide array of people who are going to use the bag and the wide array of, of uses that they're going to want to use, use it. Laptop compartment here on the back, just, just so, so. This is where I want a better frame sheet 
and I want uh, more structure in the bag, and I want that laptop pocket suspended off the bottom of the bag a little bit. Quick access up here at the top, which is actually, you know, you live for those quick access things. There's no water bottle pocket. So my water bottle would have to fit inside or you don't have one. You just like, you're, you're like buying water bottles that then hopefully will find their way to the sea. And before a dolphin chokes on it, Boyan Slat will use a mo like a robot to pick it up and then one day it'll end up being in a polyester like this. Quit it with the non-reusable water bottle. Like don't with the water bottles, you guys. But pretty slick, like black on black aesthetic, pretty comfortable. I like the, uh, the vibe, the size of this thing. Can you even see it? on me. I just think it's a great little bag. Very simple. Very simple, this stuff right here. Just two, but that I find that that's enough. What I do want is more of a robust frame sheet. I want this to be flat. You see how it bows like that? You see that bowing? I don't like that. You see this? I don't like that. I want structure in my bag. I've got a much longer video on this one somewhere that I'll link to in the description below, but this is a very worthy travel bag. Even though it does the floppy doppy, very worthy. Great work, oppose this. That one comes in at 195 euro, so I'm not sure what the math is like that. Where, how is the US dollar? Actually, I'm not even gonna look it up because it's <laughs> some point in the future, like <laughs> Trump probably like advertised a tweet or a fart, so you, it's 195 euros. Okay, speaking of 195 euros, I don't think this is a very affordable bag, but boy, is it dope. This is the Black Ember Forge. A lot of you are going to be getting sweaty in your perennium, which is that space between, I call it my perennium, because I've been to more labors than, uh... there's just been a lot of labors. I just know all about the perennium. Be a good labor partner. Learn how to give some perennium massages. I have a certification in perennium massage, so, you know, holler. This is the Black Ember Forge. Comes in around 300 bucks USD and it's a steal, as far as I'm concerned, for the level of sophistication in the design, the materials, all the, just the vibiness. I just, I love this multicam shit, man. I just love it. Rolling up in a suit with this, I don't know. I know you, most people can't get away with it, but I, I, I am profoundly unemployable. So you've got like briefcase carry mode, you've got backpack carry mode, and then little hidden zipper down the middle gets you expandability all the way around the bag. So this thing bulks out to be like, whoa, you can carry a ton of stuff. But here's the deal. It's a little heavy adventure travel. I wouldn't want this necessarily to be my bag out in Southeast Asia potentially, but if I wanted to have one bag to do everything, this is a solid option. It's a solid option, but you will be sort of locked into how this bag works and it works in some particular ways. All right, I will link to my video below on this because it's a fairly recent one. It's comfortable, it's built well, it's structured, it's, uh, it's protective. It is, uh, it's made by some serious goddamn wizards, pardon my French, just wizards of soft goods. Black Ember makes some amazing stuff. So uh, that's all I'll say on this one and you can watch the other video because we've got so many more to show. Okay, let's talk about Topo. Totally, Topo, typically, this is the Topo Designs Global Briefcase 3-Day. It's got a shoulder strap that I would immediately just pull off, but I left it on because the shoulder strap is actually, I don't know, it's made from some seatbelt material and I just like this son of a bitch. I've been a fan of Topo stuff for a long time. I mean, I just, they're, just, they're like that whole like skate snowboard aesthetic, but, but like, but they're, <laughs> but they're, but they're not skaters. They're just like a hippie people. They're like Colorado people. It's in Colorado. It's like Chacos and bring your own trail mix. And you can tell by this funky color. They have other colors that aren't quite as funky, but this is really interesting. This is fun. And the materials are just like old school, like they're, they're new school, they're, they're brand new, but they have that same sort of like Kelty 70s vibe, the kind of thing that's like, dude, you're gonna walk into somebody's house at some point who has an interesting like mandala on the wall and like an incense thing. And like maybe this person's been a lawyer for a long time, just found their way through life. But you're gonna find something like this in their in their closet in 30 years that they've, they've had for forever because they're a little bit bring your own trail mix. I love bring your own trail mix people because they always have enough to share. <laughs> so the three day uh, global briefcase is actually like the, like the invisible carry on that we looked at. It's just, you don't have any expansion. It's just the size 
of the bag. It's the motion in the ocean. You can see my capacity here is slightly more narrow than my packing cube, which won't be a problem at all. I would still be able to zip this up. It's built for that, but I don't even need to just to show you like, okay, same sort of same size, big, huge injection molded zippers. Now, I love do you see how smooth and easy and fast it is just to get an, oh. Same thing on the laptop compartment here on the back, which is just, again, you see that floppy doppy? Would be kind of sick to get a little more of a, of a frame sheet in here, though I don't think it would fit the aesthetic quite as much. And inside of here, you actually have some organization, okay? Simple organization, place for your, uh, you see that right, right there? You can put your, uh, your laptop or uh, your, this is Velcro's over the top there, your uh, your, uh, you know, you, so you got some organization and then a place for your laptop uh, or your papers, your business papers. 15-inch MacBook Pro fits in easily. You could you could fit a 17-inch in there. Look at that thing. Look at you got tons of space, but not the most protection around the edges on this thing. Okay, backpack straps that clip off and you can fold them away. Laptop compartment. These two things up front are like. It might sound stupid. But a lot of the times I orient myself around the bag with just the handle wise because these both go open like that totally burly YKK number 10 zip on that over engineering in all of its glory. But these because they have dimension, they have about an inch of space uh, built into them. I just find that they're so nice in use. I love that they're not like accessories that come off the bag and don't fit perfectly. They're just sewn right on there and you have this, I don't know, these pouches, these pouches. So backpack mode, sick. So easy. Just such a, a simple, totally dumb, like just easy way to travel and get through and so fun. That simplicity is so fun in life, right? So you want to take yourself a little less seriously? Check this out. A link in the description below. The global briefcase, that's the three day. They make a global briefcase that's not the three day, that basically just doesn't have that big uh, suitcase compartment. It's, it's just a perfect little like 17 liter daily carry, which is one of my favorites. And it comes in at 169. Oh, it's so lightweight and lovely. Oh, I just love it. 169. Check out this little guy. This is from Air. It's their travel pack, but it's small. It's 30 liters, okay? So I think it's a little bit a little bit boxy in some ways for daily carry. What do you think of that? This is with nothing in it. 30 liters, tons of space that I could fill up. Lots of structure. The bag's made from a seriously burly 1680D ballistic nylon. This is like totally capable as a getaway bag. In some ways I prefer a little more minimal with this, but it's much more burly in its aesthetic. Big laptop compartment where the laptop is pulled off the bottom of the bag. Nice, sturdy frame sheet down there. Good, thick straps. Air are like, you know, they're over-engineering their bags on purpose and, uh, and they're one of the most popular bag makers right now that I know of because we like this aesthetic. This is gonna last a really long time. This feels like seriously robust. And they nail this thing, just like on that Tortuga, the uh, the organization panel, everything up on the front, right? Lots of little do-jobbies and places to put the things, okay? Your, your tablet can go back there, or water bottle pocket, which has this like zip up thing. It's just like, you, you, do wanna, you want a water bottle pocket that can fit like really big water bottles? Well, got you covered. And you don't want that in the way, so you just you just zip that up. Some of you don't, and you throw your, throw your like rain umbrella thing in there. Little quick access on the top. This front pouch here is great. Then it opens clamshell from the bottom, okay? Just like their travel pack. And here you have 30 liters of capacity with a little bit of zipped in organization up there. Bam and bam, we've got everything that we need. Here's the great, I mean, it's the same size as that Bellroy, the same size as that Catman Do in the beginning, same size as that Invisible Carry-On, Topo Global Briefcase, 
Forge has like a little bit more maybe because it's got the expandability. The Tortuga set out divide. So all of these are right in the same category. You have an embarrassment of riches for choices in this size for fit under the seat in front of you on the airplane, have everything you need right there on the airplane, get there, take out your packing cube. Some of you would go even more minimal on your daily care. You just need the little sling or, or your purse or, or nothing at all. But I think you can get away with, if you're doing a work trip, with taking this for people who, I mean, maybe not with a suit, maybe with a suit because it's all black. Big, chunky YKK number 10 zips. Everything feels great on these bags. They've done an awesome job. Uh, thanks, Air. This is actually for sale in the MoMA design store, which is fascinating. Uh, over there, it's 230 bucks. I'll link to it below, and you can support the channel if you purchase uh, any of these bags. What's next? Check this out. This is the Nord Pack. Nord Pack. Got a little umlach over the stump and something. And this comes in about $220. The feel overall is is uh, fairly solid. Like I like this back panel a little bit. I like these straps. There's some, uh, there's something, there's something kind of interesting going on here. Vertical zip right here gets you into a, a an expandable compartment. So it, this is what it looks like when it's closed and we can expand it. G hooks, which I have a love-hate relationship with. Luckily these ones are designed well so they, they come off easily. But another place where I might just, I might just cut these off because basically you have to, you have to pull those off to unzip certain parts on the bag. Did you see that expansion? I just unzipped a zipper right behind the front panel and now we've got expansion. But then you have a water sealed zip right along the outside here that gets you in there. They've got all sorts of rain flaps and, and packing cubes. On this side, pretty standard. You've got zippers, one of them's mesh. This section, here, which opens vertically. Uh, this is where it's like, now we're in like this bento box. <laughs> it's like, it's like <laughs> you are here. Two interesting little pouches. Now, what's interesting about these is that you can access them from the front, right? So I just came in through the front and I've got little zippers if I don't want to uh, let anything that's in there fall out. So kind of like a, a neat little way around some quick access. But ultimately it's like you gotta have flashcards to memorize <laughs> where your shit is, right? So a pouch, like a big area up here that then you can, you can fill that with packing cubes. This is a little bit of a bummer to me on this bag. I guess you could sort of roll this up and hide this away, kind of, but it's got padding in it and it doesn't feel good to do that. So if you wanted to have like a big, just massive stuff that goes right here and then close that down on top, you could kind of do it, but it's really not what it's meant for. Here's your main capacity over here on the bag, which is like totally ample, right? So you've got more than, I mean, this is probably closer to just the regular capacity itself is closer to like 25 liters, I'd say. Then you pop this open and I'd say we're closer to like, closer to like 30, 35 liters. But you've got to find packing cubes that you're gonna put in this segment, which they make. Now, I don't like to pack into a lot of different packing cubes because it's cumbersome. I like to pack into just the one. But you can get super fiddly with your organization in this one and have stuff, have it your way. Water bottle pocket with a little elastic guy over here, which works. Then on the back, you've got all sorts of tech. Lots of tech, really kind of nice tech. They took a, a, a page out of Manal's book here um, in how they did this, the, 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 the laptop. You've got this guy, you've got this stuff over here. Business papers, man. Decent handles. There's just some sharp edges. It's like it's like a little sharper than it than it than you feel like it, it should be. Secret pocket back here. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Some like pockets here in the straps for like Metro cards maybe. Ultimately, it's just a big box on your back that you can unzip to get more space and it has really solid tech organization in the back. I feel like I'm missing a quick access pocket on here and I think they want us just to use that inner thing right here in the front. And it's kind of nice that you can access, you know, straight down vertically to, to some inner compartment. When you don't have those G hooks in, there's a lot of dangle going on, but a very capable travel bag. Some of you might be really attracted to the look and the feel of it. Can you see how the, like, this doesn't look very good. I wonder if this is just a sample they sent me. I like the wrapping on these straps and the, the foam is, 
is thick and it's kind of nice, but I think I want it a little more structured slightly, but I'm, I'm like, I'm kind of a, I, I go kind of crazy for that. I like I like more sturdy, stiffer straps, personally. I just feel like it does a better job distributing all that weight. It's a lot of pockets and a lot of organization for 220 bucks, right? Um, I feel like it, 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 it feels solid. I don't think it's like a 10-year bag, maybe. Doesn't feel as classic as some of the others we've talked about. But I know some of you are like watching this going like, that's the one, I'm going for it. Make yourself right at home. Now this one, this one deserves to be in the Museum of Modern Art, okay? See this little guy? See this little thing? This is just a little, I don't know, can you even see it? Is, is my background too dark? Just notice the size of it on me, all right? It's small. There's nothing that you can access on the outside of the bag. This is a bag that's designed for, uh, for so that pickpockets can't get any of your shit. Riotbag.com, access to everything on the back panel. So you can go through any subway system, you can go through any mass transport, you can be in any packed area, and all of the ex access to your bag is, on, is up against your back. So you don't have to worry about anybody getting into anything. You've got a little quick access right here, which is nice, a little down at your lumbar. Another quick access up at the top, which is nice. You actually have quite a bit of space. Then this panel unzips, and you've got more, this is your laptop, which can, which actually zips. Inside of here, there's a little rain cover, which has this gorgeous reflective thing on the, like this whole, it just feels, and it's probably thicker and bigger than it needs to be before when you're biking home or something. She also makes this incredible little like sling that is tiny but expands like out <laughs> to fit anything that you need it to. I actually love this thing. By the way, this is her X35 and I haven't showed you, but here's my laptop goes right in. I mean, this is just for your 15 and below inch laptops. But what's good is you got like nice protection, it's a little bit pulled off the bottom of the bag. Um, and then some, some inner zipper stuff here for organization. This thing comes in at about 169 pounds right now at the making of this video. You've got a, uh, a, a roller. Can you see this? You got a thing. She's got these cute little button snaps all over the place that hide things away if you don't want them. And so you can zip this all up because that's your main capacity of your bag, which actually expands. Before I show you the expansion uh, on these sides, you have these gorgeous, big, gushy, like massive, deep water bottle pockets that you could just put so much stuff in. But listen, this isn't like my favorite looking bag. It's a little museum of modern art. It's a little bit turtlenecky, right? It's like, it's a little bit like, well, I might have a bit of a sandwich before going out to the museum later. Actually, it's not like that at all. It's, it's a little bit more, it's, it's more like, well, obviously Karl Marx didn't. Here's how this works. So with just some ingenious, basic, basic, materials that we have, that everybody has who's making bags. We unclip this, and now our straps come down, and this pulls out. You can see this. This is one of those little buttons that helps us keep it, keep it uh, clipped in kind of nice. Now you've got this killer 35 liters of space here, right? That bag before, rewind it back and watch me just like standing with it on, it doesn't look too big. And now you've got 35 massive liters of space and all of it protected from pickpockets. You just clip these little guys up up here, which keep those safe. Then you've got these, uh, these load bearing straps like this, because you're in load bearing mode and you're ready to go see the world. It's another one of those bags where you gotta uh, pull the straps aside to really get inside. And personally, I'm not crazy about accessing everything to the back of the bag, I, I don't mind. I, I, I don't mind offering my things to pickpockets. I don't worry too much about it that much, but I think this is ingenious as a way of getting that massive capacity and then breaking it down for daily carry mode. So I can fit even more than this, right? This is this is a much bigger bag than a lot that we have looked at today. And then when I'm done, here's how you break it down. You pop these clips open, you have a little like drop down, like pinch move that you gotta do because you want this to fold in. And that's what these little guys on the side are for. You clip them in 
to kind of keep that pinch going. And then our straps from our shoulder strap go up to this, this guy right up in the front. So we still have that load bearing strap working for us, but we've got a nice little sleek, little kind of modern, a little bit fashion-y kind of vibe going on. I just think it's genius. Super robust material down here on the bottom. Anyways, check out this bag if you're interested. The X35, about 169 pounds. Thanks, Sarah. Let's see what's next. All right, we're down at the bottom here. We're down at the bottom, but this is like Christmas morning. This is like, uh, listen, Tiger, <laughs> why don't you go look behind the couch? So I have three bags here. Mission Workshop, huge one. Mission Workshop, not quite as huge, a little more smaller. And then this Huru one, which is also a Mission Workshop bag. Okay, now Mission Workshop makes some of the dopest stuff. I mean, it's all really heavy and really burly. It's all very waterproof. It's all very, uh, not waterproof, but very water resistant. It's all very masculine. It's made with great stuff. And it's like this bag. This is the Rambler. It's got a big Cobra buckle on the front. They have a bunch of different versions of it. Just like, you know, it's not at all an elegant bag to me though, because it, um, you have all this. I, I was really looking forward to, to this bag personally, because I just love Mission Workshop so much. But you've got this like way of expanding from what, 22 to 44 liters, okay? But it just, it just does this. It basically has a big mouth inside of another big mouth. So now we're at like 44 liters and then you've got this roll top thing in the back which is basically your laptop compartment. And then that guy has, uh, has a separate, you know, roll up thing like this. And this, when you're in full on expansion mode, this is just all in zipper mode. Then you have a panel down the front right here, huge panel down the front, which is also maybe your laptop compartment. Now what's sick about this bag is it's just made from heavy duty, burly stuff. It's gonna be around for forever. It's actually not as heavy as some of their other bags, like the Rake bag. Their back panels and straps are excellent. I love their straps, personally. You've got that roll top, which actually goes like all the way down, and it has this liner inside that keeps every all the water out, all the, all the weather. And then the only smaller pocket you have on this whole thing, unless I'm mistaken, is this little guy right here, which is only big enough for like AirPods or just your keys, right? So all my external access is right there. So there's no fun external access, no way of doing your water bottle, no way of having a little quick access besides this big pocket here, this big pocket here, and then this big pocket here, which for the most part in daily carry mode, you're leaving that inner mouth open and then just getting into it from the top. But you, every time you get into it, you've got this, you've got this fluff fluff right down here. So for you, like a harder core people, this is actually like probably tickling your fancy. It always is to me. I personally like it, but kind of like the GORUCK, where in use, GORUCK just has this one flat pocket on the front where everything gets lost in and your hand gets scraped going in and out of it. That kind of stuff actually builds up over time and starts to feel like shittier and shittier and shittier. That's sort of like what these bags end up feeling like to me. But I still love, <laughs> I still love it. Like, why is that? Anyways, I show it to you here because it does that massive expansion out so you could fit tons of stuff. And then this is your daily carry. Just a chill, sick, little like regular life, you know, urban daily carry vibe. Now this one's 305 bucks right now, built in the US, gonna last for forever. So sick in some ways, but I think a lot of you would be like, you'd kind of get sick of it over time. Then they have this bigger one. This is called the Vandal and it's only 30 bucks more, but it goes from 29 to 65 liters. Now on this one, they give you a little pocket on that side and on this side. So those are two little quick access pockets, which I'm like, that changes a lot just to have two spaces like that. And they're bigger. You can fit more in them. But this bag itself is huge. It's just, it's massive. But we've got that same thing with the clip. You've got more action now, quite a bit more, okay? 
a zipper here that goes down, a zipper here goes all the way down also. Like this is sort of interesting because the zips are water sealed and then they're on the front. Each one of them has their own liner thing, right? So you've just got this big panel that I could easily fit my laptop in that or in this one or in this one in the back. None of them are very protected, just protection from the you know outside of the bag itself. None of them are pulled up off the bottom of the bag. They go the whole length of the bag. And then you've got this big old whale shark mouth that opens up and you go to 65 <laughs> meters. What? For your like intent, like this isn't even a hybrid travel bag anymore. This is just like the most intense like carrier messenger bag kind of thing. I mean the pictures on the website are just insane when this thing is packed out like that. Now the interesting thing about this one because we have two quick access pockets and now we have three panels here, you'd probably end up getting used to using those a lot more. But then you've got this clip coming down and I just, I don't love getting in via the clip. So that's the Vandal and it comes in at 335. And then Huru came out with their version of the exact same bag, like all, <laughs> all the same things. Here's my roll top strap thing in the back that goes all the way down. Here's my like big, they make this custom buckle, which is like, which is, it's kind of, it's easy to get in and out of. It's easy enough, but it's a little bit cumbersome buckles. Here's my two pockets right here. Here's a third pocket behind the buckle. So it's like, I would never leave that buckle buckled if I'm using this often. And that's nice. Cause it's just, it's just, it's just here. So whatever I put doesn't go to the bottom of the bag. There's a little side water bottle kind of pocket. It's a little small for my water bottle, but you could just barely almost get it in. So smaller water bottles would work. There's a rain hood up here on the top of the bag that's like rolled into it. I won't pull it out here because I, I don't know how I'd get it back in. But it's a hood like goes over your head and then a flop that goes over the bag. The hip strap itself is like a big wide sling that fits back in there or you can sort of hide it away back there. The sternum strap is another one of these big burly ass crazy buckles. The straps are solid. I don't like them as much as the Mission Workshop ones. They have some zippers in them and then you've got these big old crazy intense like load bearing things. It's like all of, it's all a bit much in some ways. Now, Huru did the expansion differently. They had it expand from the back of the bag instead of having it inside of that main compartment. So when you're getting into the bag itself, you're not going from one mouth into another mouth and you have all sorts of Base in here. Or you collapse that zipper down and now you're back into daily carry mode. Up here you have a bunch of organization built in. Three non-visible, so whatever you put in there, you gotta kinda remember that it's in there. I gotta be honest, there's something I really like about these Huru builds. Like I like the materials. I think they're they they are uh I think they're making some very interesting stuff. They're going hardcore. It's a bit burly, it's a bit like it's just a bit much. It's like, you know, when you're basically just carrying your laptop and like your <laughs> your tennis shoes and a pair of flip flops so that you can go like flop around on the beach. It can feel a bit much. But for hardcore urban exploring, all three of these are excellent options. And and you know, maybe not maybe not for most of us. That's all the new bags I wanted to show you. I have more on my hybrid travel bag page at Matterful.co. Thank you for staying with us this long. If you are still here, you should subscribe to this channel. And you might want to become a patron over at Patreon as well. I love you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you get the bag that fits for your journey. We're interested in life here. And travel is a great way to help us figure out what the hell life is all about. So hopefully this is helpful for you to get into a bag that you're actually going to love. My dream is that, you know, you get something that you stick with for a long time. You only spend that dollar one time. You don't ever have to spend it again. We can make a huge impact on the sustainability of our species on this damn planet if we can just be more intentional about what, you're, we're, what we're buying. It's, it's the owning of more and more and more and more and more things 
This is one of the things that travel is so great at getting us out of our heads about, right? So wherever you're journeying to next, I wish you luck. I wish you good fortune. May the road rise to meet you. And I will see you in the next video. Subscribe. Get on the email list at matterful.co because we give away free gear there. Check out the hybrid travel bag page. Check out the daily carry and the bigger travel bag page and the duffel bag page. Whatever you're looking for, I'm trying to create a little list for you of like, here's the ones you need to know about. Okay. Thanks guys. Talk to you later.